still man who reads government documents saying they we're going to do this. You want a newer document? 2000, Rebuilding America's Defenses, PNAC, PNAC.info. Go check that out. Dick Cheney says we need a helpful Pearl Harbor event. Well, I don't think Pearl Harbor was helpful. I think it was bad. I think it was out of control. It was disgusting. Get that guy. He's trying to take pictures of me. Get him. They get him. Gonna make you a star. Better hold it up there all day. Gonna run you through our biometric system and get your name. See, a leader and a man has to defend his family. He can't, like in Nazi Germany, you have to say no, or in Russia. You see, the Founding Fathers, they stood up, they were 4% at the beginning, and they said no to the Redcoats and no to the establishment. And Mark Twain said, in the beginning, a patriot is a scarce man. He's hated and feared. But in time, when his cause succeeds, the timid join him, because then it costs nothing to be a patriot. And we're looking for patriots that know what the Bill of Rights and Constitution says, and that can see all of this and know that it's a fraud. We're looking for a few good men and women that want to live free and not be dumb, mindless liberals or stupid neocon Republicans. We're losing this country. We're losing our liberties. We're losing our children's future. And we have the CIA caught carrying out terror attacks in Latin America to blame it on their enemies. We have them caught doing it in Europe. Why would this not be? You have to see the fight for them. Yes, good. Nobody's not gonna give you freedom. You gotta take it yourself. Exactly. We're taking our freedom. We're out here exposing and trying to educate people who are on the front lines. Because tyranny will always come to your door in a uniform if you go into tyranny. That's why the uniform, as Jack McClam, Police Gets the New World Order says, has to be informed. Just like finally the German high command said no to Hitler. And as things get worse, this is what happens. No, I know. I know, I know. Just following orders, just doing their job. Nuremberg Code, I understand. So the point is, is so over and over again, we have to educate. We have to inform. That's our job because they're public servants. And as citizens, we're public servants too. We have a responsibility. And Americans have become lazy blobs and have turned loose of their government. And that's why we've got tyranny. That's why we've got a government that has them out here having to do this. Because we've got a government that hires anarchist thugs that I have proven work for the federal government to create the crisis. They create the terrorist attacks, whether they're on the massive scale or the small scale of the demonstration. The globalists create the crisis. It's a human mind. Yeah. You got, ne you Nero, got good, you got bad. Nero so burned you got Rome. That's so you got God yeah, yeah. and you got sense. So you don't have any facts, sir. You just have your opinions. No, no. The Bible tells you the fact. You got good and bad. What you mean? You, you, no. Do you have the Bible? But you're saying government, government sponsored terror attacks. You understand that? Do it, buddy. Huh? Oh, what? No, no, seriously. I have a job to do. If you're going to do my job, then we're going to be in problem. Hey, okay? really, sir, you shouldn't touch me. You need to identify yourself. You know, in the state of New York, that's assault, what you just did. And I'm asking you a question, sir. Why are you harassed? Who do you work for? Do you work for City of New York just to document people? Huh? Well, well, you need to tell us. I mean, you know, this is a free country. I mean, this is disgusting. Get some more of this guy. Get some more of him. No, my, my point is, well, there's your badge. Can we have your badge number, please? Who's your boss? Do you think God is a conscious being? Like Mother Nature, I might call God. Officer, can you tell me this, this guy's badge number? Secret police just covers his badge up. Secret police in America. Out photographing people.